Hello, welcome to another Launchpad screencast. I'm Matthew Ravel, and today we're going to be looking at exporting translations to a Bazaar branch. Go to blog.launchpad.net if you want to find the screencast on importing translation templates from a Bazaar branch. Now, at the moment, Launchpad exports translations from your project to your chosen Bazaar branch on a daily basis, but we are looking at making that uh, more frequent. Now, as you can see on the screen, I'm creating a separate Bazaar branch to act as the target for my translation exports. The reason I'm doing that is because Launchpad will overwrite any translation files with the same name as the ones it's exporting in your target branch. So it's probably best to have a separate target branch for your tra translation exports um, rather than say an active de development branch or you know like your trunk branch because you can then just pull down the branch with the exported translations make sure they're okay and merge them back in if you choose to. Um, okay, so the, the branch is just going up to Launchpad now. I've actually chosen to branch my trunk branch, if you like, um, but it could be an empty branch that you're exporting your translations to. So there it goes. You, you can export to the, the trunk branch if you want to, an active development branch, but we recommend you don't at the moment. Okay, so let's go into Launchpad now and tell Launchpad which is the branch that we want to export the translations to. So we go down to the translation screen cast, cast trunk series, select that, and then go to settings. Now this may look familiar to you if you've already set up an import, a continuous import of template or tra template and translation files from a bizarre branch. So go down to the export section of the page and choose our target branch. And I'll just use the little search box actually. So type in target, search and there it is. So select that, click update and there we have it. Launchpad will now export those translations to that bizarre branch. What do we do now? Well we wait overnight in this case uh, because like I say the exports happen once a day at the moment but it will get more frequent and we'll blog that when it happens. So let's have a look at the branches associated with the project and the target branch in particular scroll down and there it is commit number four is from launchpad code hosting with a commit message of launchpad automatic translations update superb there it is okay so what do we do now to get hold of the translations well if you have any familiarity whatsoever with bizarre it's just you pull the branch down so I'll I'll create a, a, a separate branch just pretending that I've never had it on my machine so bizarre branch LP Matthew.Ravel slash then you know the project name then the branch name and it'll come down from launchpad there we go branched for revisions let's go into the branch and there there is my PO file n.gb and there you go if you've seen the the first of these screencasts you'll have seen that I did a translation of that silly phrase into a more British version replacing cookie with biscuits and that's it thanks very much for watching you can find out more at help.launchpad.net slash translations or blog.launchpad.net is where we'll post regular updates and screencasts bye